been on Google today. You may have noticed their doodle is a nod to the start of Teacher Appreciation Week. Now there's a new survey that shows that teachers are gaining even more respect during the COVID-19 outbreak and all of this distance learning. The survey is by Osmo, and it shows that 80% of parents say they have more respect for teachers now than they did just a few months ago. 70% say that they realize being a teacher is much harder than their own job. Uh, I think a lot of us had a lot of respect for teachers, yeah. but we have a greater, I think, under appreciation or understanding now of how hard it really can be to teach our kids a lot of these basic skills. Yeah, I think you're, Heather, in the middle of kind of the hardest age of that mm -hmm. when you have the young kids in the elementary right. age. And so many teachers also have their own kids that they're teaching at home mm -hmm. as well. So while all of us are trying to do, you know, our regular job and then uh, helping out with the right. homeschooling, I think for a teacher, you're also navigating, you know, 30 kids uh, right. at the elementary level. At a high school level, you might have 150 kids that you're dealing with, right. with their technology issues, their uh, this and that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a tough job. It is a tough job it for sure. It is. Riley, what do you think? Yeah, well, you know, I think you guys kind of nailed it on the spot. I mean, I've always had appreciation for teachers no matter what. Now, even though my kids are young right now and not in school, um, I do have friends that are teachers. And then, of course, what we report on the news. And I just think that, you know, um, the, the, our hearts go out to them because, I mean, they do have a challenge. I mean, this is a new challenge for everybody trying to figure out what you mentioned about the technology issues, you know, trying to do the, the classroom meetings online, uh, dealing with different, uh, different personalities and different kids, you know, and their mm -hmm. needs and I think that um, we just need to give teachers appreciation every day I don't think it should be you know one week out of the year or, or you know certain days out of the year I mean this is something that they need to have daily mm -hmm. and I think a lot of parents too I mean they they understand that their kids go to school and they're in the hands of someone else too but now you know the challenge is you know with the parents at home teaching the kids right. and trying to do their work and you know I have a, a friend um, at, at home that she has two kids that are in elementary school one in middle and then one in high school and she's like it's really difficult trying right. to do this you know at home and then they're relying on the teachers and you know luckily her high school um, daughter is actually is trying to help right. the younger kids with it as well yeah. but you know my point here is just saying we need to appreciate teachers every right. single day of the Absolutely. year and I know these kids these teachers really miss these kids kids too so we want your feedback let's give a shout out to the teachers woo -woo, Mrs. Martin and Miss Rafferty here uh, start of teacher appreciation week do you value <laughs> teachers even more now that the kids are distance learning let us know wccocom slash Facebook or comment to us on Twitter. Melissa says, my kids' teachers are awesome. I have emailed more than once thanking them. <laughs> Me too, Melissa. Jessica says, my first grade teacher dropped off a May Day basket. Teachers are going above and beyond to make sure our kids are coping with all the changes to their little lives. Nice. Mary says, yes, teachers are awesome. So very good. Thanks, everybody, for your feedback.